just the most unbelievable and useful experience in making a film about somebody. He was just so generous with his time constantly. Um, just the best, when you're playing somebody, just the most unbelievable tool to have because if there's any questions I had, we improvised a lot in this film. He was there and I didn't have to imagine anything. He had the answers for everything. But on top of that, he did all of my stunt driving. So any exterior shot you see in the film, incredibly is Jan driving. So it was just, the most unbelievable experience. I don't even know if that's ever been done before. No. And also for someone to give up so much of their time. I think he was as as amazed that the film was being made as we were and, and blessed to be in it. And so it was just such a lovely experience to be there with him. Thank you. Orlando, are you a fan of racing and do you see the appeal? Of course. I think one of the things that surprised me in the making of the movie is that, you know, there's obviously so much glamour um, behind well, yeah, there's so much glamour in what you see of the racing world. And with Gran Turismo, we've got this huge title, right? But actually, what, what goes into it, the dedication, focus, and excellence for all of the team members, not just the drivers, but the teams that go into it, that's something that we explore in the movie that, you know, I mean, Darren um, Cox was the guy that came up with this idea to create the GT Academy and see if they could take a kid off a couch and throw him into a car and what would happen. And look what happened. Yan Yambra, you know, podiumed at Le Mans. So it was, it was, it was, it's a, it's a, it's a very passionate movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very, it's a very fast paced, like action movie, but at its core is a beautiful heartfelt story in that and a true story at that, which is, you know, what I think will hopefully keep people, you know, coming back for more. Can you talk to me a bit about working with David Harbour? Yeah, well, you worked a lot with David. David's yeah. fantastic, you know, he's a really dedicated actor. He's a huge presence and he, he really, um, you know, he really, um, he, he had a very strong vision for who the character was and the kind of, the relationship between you and, y between him and Yam was something that was like very apparent. I was like this, we were kind of sparring as characters, you know, like I had this vision and he has this very kind of grounded idea of what's really possible. And I'm like the dreamer going, but anything's possible. No. But you had the real kind of back I mean, and forth. unbelievably generous with his time. It's so lovely to work with an actor that is so open and collaborative and generous. And we would go back and forth, kind of playing with scenes, playing with ideas, dynamics. And, you know, some, some people come, turn up to set, have a locked idea of what they want to do. And that's what they do. And there's no, the beauty is there's no right or wrong answer here. But it was just so fun to have so many scenes that just felt so playful. Um, such a joy to work with them. Yeah. Well, Lando, can you talk to me about the attention to detail in this? Was it very impressive? Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so much so that I was not allowed to cross the line when it came to the track. So the, 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 the crew, and the, the, aside from the pit crew and the drivers, you don't go across this one white line in the, in the pit. Um, but uh, which was really frustrating, is why I mention it. But but, 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 but actually, um, it was it was it was fascinating, and I think that that you know having Yan on set, having we had we had so many experts on set who really knew the world and really kind of kept us on point with what it means mm -hmm. to be in this game, to be playing, and to be not even just in the game of racing, but to be actually in the game of racing cars. That, that that's something that, you know, uh, our phenomenal director, Neil, just really executed with 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 superb excellence. He just he, he saw and understands gritty reality and the importance of keeping things true to life, you know, especially when you've got a true story. So it was it was impressive, I would say, incredibly impressive. And when you go to the tracks like the Red Bull Ring or like the Hunger Ring or like, you know, you got we were in Dubai. I mean we it's just the scope of these things, you know, is 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 pretty impressive. Archie, can I ask you about Jerry Halliwell Horner playing your mum? Mm. How mean, was that? I mean, it was unbelievable, iconic. Um, she, I mean, she was amazing. Again, just came with so much energy and love and enthusiasm, and she's just an unbelievable, unbelievably maternal person. Mm. And I remember her saying, I'm only here to support you. I'm here to lift you up and to support you. And that, I think, that's kind Super of, positive. that is just what, that's what mums do. That's what the loveliest mums do. And that's kind of what she did. That's, it was just such a joy to be around her. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you both so much. It's been Thank a pleasure. You. Thank Thanks you. So Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys. <laughs> hey You Guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey You Guys. Hey You 